This is Catania Alvin speaking from uh, Vancouver in Canada and good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you're all doing very well and I've got this uh, wonderful video of President Trump and Melania in India and the display that the Indians put on for them was absolutely magnificent and how welcoming they are. Uh, they obviously, not like Britain at all, absolutely are over the moon towards Trump and that was very wonderful to see. So I'm, I suppose I'm one of the few, relatively few people in Britain who are very pro-President Trump uh, because he's, it's, it's basically because people watch the news and the media and they, they don't do their research. Now, the other thing I've got is um, some information of the GCR, the Global Currency Reset, which will be from Restored Republic. And I've also got this information about oxygen. Yes, the stuff that we have to breathe. We can't live without breathing. So there is a book with the name Mr. Oxygen because he brought out a book and also a product called Oxylift, which is um, uh, the, the video talks about it and you can go online and get the book and you can also go online and pick up the product. I've been trying to get it here in Canada but it don't, I don't seem to be able to get it. I can have to get it and get somebody in England to send it out to me. Okay, let's start with this video of President Trump and Melania in India. The arrival of President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump to India and the warm welcome, the handshake, the hearty hug, which has now become a symbol of their friendship. Greetings all around. Prime Minister Narendra Modi introducing the American President Donald Trump to the Chief Minister of Gujarat and other dignitaries present. This is the first visit to India by President Donald Trump. And that's his daughter. That was a quick greeting of Ivanka Trump and Jared Trump, the daughter and son-in-law of President Trump. A dry services guard. Honoring the arrival of and the President and the First Lady. You can't hear it and now they start there but they were sounding the conch shells which bring good vibration look at melania's lovely smiles The corn shells is considered auspicious, pious, and the sound there positively energizes the environment through the vibrations. There is such a festive air here. It is as if all of India has come alive to welcome her guests. And this sort of a greeting, this sort of a reception can only be given in India. I'm going to just move it on so you can see some of the uh, wonderful dancing. Here we are. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. It's um, stunning. Sir, 
age-old traditions, offering a story to be told, a narrative that will help us chronicle the history better for a greater future. The dolls, the costumes, the colors, the rhythm, the clash, the dandia, the garba, the ribbon dance in the background. In India, we have a dance for every occasion and ours is a country of festivals. So, there is a festival every few days in India to celebrate the seasons, to celebrate the change of seasons, to celebrate the advent of the new season. Because they are all connected with nature and as nature changes slowly through the year, so do our folk dances and we celebrate nature in all its places. Now, I've been to India and uh, I spent five months there. My husband and I went. We went to a market scanners, the scanner devices and the blanket, etc. Uh, but we had a, an amazing, amazing time. But never, of course, did we see anything quite like this. We did see a couple of weddings that, that were coming down the road under where we were living. But never, I mean, this is an, an amazing example of... Uh, and so much of, of just brought into one visual, one, uh, one I suppose one day, it, it's, it, or two days, just wonderful. I'm going to go on and find the part that, that shows President Trump in the ashram of Gandhi. I think here they are. And this is where Gandhi used to sit. And this one magical moment, I'll find it. Interestingly, although Gandhiji lived here for 13 years, he didn't have a home to himself. He spent most of his time in this veranda, spinning the charka or the spinning wheel, as we can see in the visuals. And that little room on the left was his study where he wrote letters every day to people all across India who were connected with the freedom movement and people from all across the world who wrote to him. And now, this is where President Trump sits down on the side and is looking at the spinning wheel and is given a small lesson. You know, what I love is he's, every time I've seen him, particularly in, in situations of this sort of nature, he's always taken a tremendous, actual, genuine interest in what is being shown to him, etc. It's a long, long video. I've not seen the whole of it, but very exciting. This is his first stop, which was at the Gandhi ashram. Now, to take you on to the Restored Republic website and keep those of you in touch with what's going on. And here it says, if you scroll down, you'll see a summary. And I'll just read it out here. A week ago on Sunday, the 16th of February, the US dollar Federal Reserve went bankrupt. The next day, on Monday the 17th of February, the Chinese elders released funding for the reset. By Tuesday the 18th of February, Dragon Bond exchanges were taking place at the IMF and several banks, including the world's largest HSBC, announced that they had switched over to what appeared to be the quantum financial system. Evidently, by Wednesday the 18th of February, the new USTN, that's the US Treasury note, was gold-backed and on Thursday, the 19th of February, bank derivatives were paid off with that gold-backed USTN. To carry on, Friday the 21st of February, the dollar index showed that a market crash had been avoided. 
it was assumed because the US dollar was now gold backed. The next day, on Saturday, the 22nd of February, US Treasury sources were ordered to go silent. That evening, President Trump left the country to visit Cabal's failing center of finance of Germany and then on Sunday the 25th of February flew to India, one of the five original founding nations of BRICS. That's the Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, meaning Zimbabwe, the international organization behind the global currency reset. Right, now finally, here we've got Mr. Oxygen, 99% of disease can't live in active oxygen, ozone, oxylift, oxyflush, or oxy-earth. So let's play a little bit of this. You know, they're just starting to, well, maybe it's possible. Well, I'm telling you, I've been to clinics, people dying. We know what's going on. It's the buildup of the pollution, the lack of minerals in the soil. Number two, the only way things can leave the body is by adding oxygen to them. This is still number one. And for example, if you're breathing, well, the gas coming out of me is CO2, carbon combined with oxygen plus H2O. It's warm, it's wet, it's gas. See how oxygen, oxygen was in there? Okay, so same thing, SO2, NO2, all the things that come out of all your orifices, you sweat out. These things are all dependent on oxygen. The second big truth is that bacteria, viruses, funguses, and pathogens cannot live, cannot live, because they're anaerobes, they cannot live in active forms of oxygen. So why do you think, with those two things, the only way you can clean out the trash is with oxygen. The only way you can clean out the trash is with oxygen. And the only thing that safely will kill all the bacteria, viruses, fungus, and pathogens in the human body is nature's oxygen. It's designed to do that. Your immune system runs on it. You make your own, in your immune system, you make your own oxidative species chemicals like hydrogen peroxide, natural form. You want to kill all the bacteria. Your lymphocytes make that, squirt it on the bacteria. That's how they kill it. Uh, Scripps Institute finding out the body produces species and subspecies of ozone. The two things I've been teaching about for 17 years now, all of a sudden the medical literature is starting to say, hey, what he said was right back then. You know, they're just starting to, well, maybe it's possible. Well, I'm telling you, I've been to clinics, people dying on their deathbeds, various diseases, cancer, AIDS, whatever you want to call it, their blood is filthy. They get a series of supplements or ozone injection, medical ozone, again, not taught in U.S. medical schools, used all over the world. They get healthy and they go home. Now, so there must be... Wonderful. So all the links will be in the description box. And uh, I was outside practicing singing <laughs> this afternoon. And uh, in Canada, we've had about 10 days, uh, not in Canada, in Vancouver, in B.C., in this area. Cowagin Bay. We've had blue skies, sometimes clear blue skies, sometimes with cloud, but blue sky we've had every day and I've recorded it on my my mobile. So God bless everyone. Catania Alvin saying have a wonderful rest of the day and uh, see you at the next video. Bye bye.